Looks like you found a new weapon. There are 17 of them for sniper, excluding reskins. Each one has different attributes. Let's go over them in detail. Because this is the ultimate sniper guide. The stock primary is the sniper rifle. We went over it in the first part of the guide, so make sure you check it out. The link will be in the description and at the end of the video. It's one of the best primaries for sniper. Overall balanced, precise, high DPS weapon that can take out almost any target in sight. You should usually keep your distance but the range doesn't change the damage. So take those close range shots when you're in a dire situation. The Machina is another nice sniper rifle. Its attributes are similar to the stock one. However, there are some differences. The Machina fires team colored tracer rounds that can give away your position if you are hiding somewhere. But that can also quickly show your teammates the enemy's position. You can't take no scopes with the Machina. That can be a big downside since you can't scope in midair if you jump. On the bright side, if you fully charge your shot, the bullet can go through enemies. If you penetrate to or more players, everyone on the server will hear the accompanying sound. In addition, on full charge you deal 15% more damage. That's 173 on a body shot and 518 on a headshot. The Hitman Seat Maker has a 20% damage penalty on body shots. That means a fully charged shot deals only 120 damage, which isn't enough to kill any class. So go for headshots instead. That will also make the heads pop. The Heat Maker has an additional charge meter called Focus. You fill it by getting kills and assists. When you activate it by pressing reload, you don't rescope for the following shots and have 25% faster charge rate. This can be useful when you are far away or want to take out a sentry, but most of the time this will get you killed. The Sydney Sleeper is one of the worst primaries for sniper. You get mini crits instead of full ones when you headshot. That's a huge disadvantage since a quick scope deals just 68 damage and a fully charged shot deals 203. On the plus side, Headshots reduce the Gerati cooldown by 1 second if you have it equipped. We will get to it later. Moreover, on scoped hits you apply Gerati for 2 to 5 seconds based on the charge meter. Gerati players take mini crit damage from normal shots. That's additional 35% damage from any source. There's also a hidden attribute. Your scoped shots extinguish teammates. The Sydney Sleeper is a great support and combo rifle, but the downsides are too severe. The classic is the worst primary for sniper, it can only headshot when the charge meter is full. This makes it extremely inefficient. The unscoped FOV isn't enough to compensate. It's time for my favorite rifle. The Bizarre Bargain. It has the same stats as the stock one except it starts with its charge rate decreased by 50%. Each headshot kill increases the rate by 25%, up to 200%. At 2 heads this becomes the stock. 6 heads is the maximum. With the bizarre bargain you can mow down multiple high health enemies in a few seconds. King Pishon! However, an enemy demo man will get all your collected heads and another one if he kills you with the Islander or its reskins. The Bizarre Bargain can also act as a dead ringer detector. If you headshot a spy and don't get a head, then he is still alive. Adding a kill streak to your Bizarre Bargain can help with the detection. You'll just have to remember the number offset. 
The Huntsman is a projectile weapon with 30 ammo. The arrows travel in an arc that depends on the charge meter, which fills up faster than the rifles. A fully charged arrow deals 120 damage on a body shot and 360 on a headshot. But don't keep it drawn longer than 5 seconds because the accuracy will drop significantly. Since it's a projectile weapon, it can be reflected by a pyro. Arrows can also be lit on fire. Jumping into water won't extinguish them. The Huntsman can be fired underwater, as well as after jumping. You can also taunt kill with the Huntsman. It stuns the enemy and deals 500 damage. However, you shouldn't taunt, since that makes you very vulnerable. This weapon is also known as the Luxman. You can see why from the footage. The stock secondary is an SMG. It is used for mid-range defense and to finish off injured enemies. But most of the time a no-scope follow-up, another headshot or a melee swing will do the job better. The cleaner's carbine has a lower clip size of 20 and 25% slower firing speed than the SMG and doesn't have random crits. However, dealing 100 damage with this weapon fills up the cry key meter. Activating it by pressing the right mouse button grants you mini crits for every weapon for 8 seconds. This can be a fun combo with the bushwhacker but we'll talk about it when we get to the melee weapons. The Razorback gives you backstab immunity at the cost of a secondary weapon. After the spy tries to backstab you, he can't attack, switch weapons, or cloak for 2 seconds and a loud electrical noise can be heard. Turn around and headshot the spy when he's most vulnerable. After breaking the Razorback will regenerate in 30 seconds. The downside is that you can't be overhealed at all. Darwin's Danger Shield is the best anti-pyro secondary. Leaving you with your primary and melee, it gives you 50% fire damage resistance and afterburn immunity. Now Scorch Shot Pyros won't annoy you. You will annoy them. The Dragon's Fury won't kill you fast enough and it'll be almost useless against you. My favorite secondary for Sniper is the Cozy Camper. This backpack gives you health regeneration which is a huge advantage. It starts with 1 HP per second and goes up to 4. Moreover, on full charge you don't flinch from getting hurt. Your aim stays stable under enemy fire. It combos perfectly with the bizarre bargain. The knockback gets reduced by 20% while aiming. Overall, the Cozy Camper is a great survivability and aim stability backpack. Speaking of combos, Jarati is a jar of questionable substance that can be thrown. However, enemy pyros can reflect it. Upon impact it soaks foes in a medium radius and reveals invisible spies. The effect lasts 10 seconds but jumping into water neutralizes it and getting healed reduces its time to 5 seconds. Gerati can also extinguish teammates and doing so will shorten the recharge to 16 seconds from 20. This jar combos perfectly with the bushwhacker. The melee weapon turns every swing that would mini crit into a full crit at the cost of not having random crits and 20% damage vulnerability when the melee is out. You can go YOLO with the cleaner's carbine when you're in a bad situation or just want to have some fun. Bushwhacker also combos with the Sydney sleeper but that's even more dangerous to pull off. The Tribal Man's Shift causes bleed for 6 seconds inflicting 4 damage each half a second at the cost of only 33 damage from hits. 
It's mainly used to track down spies because bleeding reveals the spy's silhouette and causes blood particles to appear from the spy each half a second. Due to reduced damage, crits will no longer one-shot full health enemies. The Shadenshire deals 49 base and 146 crit damage if you have more than half your health and 81 base, and 244 crit if your health is below 50%. An interesting melee that should only be used as a last resort. The stock melee is cookery. A solid melee that can take out low health classes with 2 hits dealing 65 damage each. Since it's a melee weapon, it has the highest crit chance of 65% that starts at 15%. As with most melees, switch to it when you want to finish off a close range injured target or get the cornered foe. I prefer using the reskins that raise your hand, since that covers your head from below. Having gone through all the sniper weapons, I'd recommend this loadout. The strategy is to get a few quick scopes on low health enemies, then start utilizing the Kozy Camper's aim stability. You can play aggressively since you have health regeneration, high charge rate, and a 195 damage melee most of the time. But you shouldn't charge head first into combat, especially against multiple enemies. <laughs>